Hi Aquarius, uh, it's your daily read. So let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Let's see what the universe wants you to know, all right? Um, where are we gonna go first? We'll go with the Oracle deck and then we'll come back to this one. Um, so let's see what the universe wants you to know. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Aquarius. Um, you can always catch me here live um, every uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so flashy trauma bonding. All right, this came out in the pre-shuffle off camera, contracted an STD. Uh, um, all right, so Aquarius. I don't know who this is for or if it's for you or your person. Most Aquarius people are not flashy. We like nice quality things, but we're not flashy. Uh, we actually hate the flash. Um, I don't know. Somebody could be flashy as F. Somebody also could have left you Aquarius or kind of gotten you know, tempted by another person because this person was flashy as F and all your person did was go to this person and it was a big trauma bonding session. Like they have no real chemistry, nothing in common. It's just more so, you know, what, what glitters is not always gold and your person, or maybe even you Aquarius, you looked at this person and you said, Ooh, they got it together. And they, they, you look like this and they drive this and they live here. And, and it could have just been all a big mess. Okay. And they could be a big mess. And it also could be that your person, you know, was tempted, tempted away from you, um, by way of somebody being very flashy, you know, putting themselves out there. Um, and now they're in this big trauma bonding session. You also could have, um, you know, related with somebody um, on, on, a, on a level where you both had gone through something. Uh, but this person, you, know, you thought that that was, you know, maybe the glue that will bind you to where it can turn into something else. But this person always had the mentality of being flashy or they see something that is um, brighter than you or, or anything or anyone could catch their eye. This could be a wondering eye. This could be somebody who always has to be the center of attention, get other people. Um, yeah, this could be somebody who is um, need, needs to be the center of attention, always having other people. Is this something behind this? There is, all right. so. Your person could be flashy as F, okay? You can't keep steady work. I knew it. Um, now, it could be that they cannot keep a steady job, you know, um, or, or they bounce around. Now, this card sometimes comes out when you're dealing with a person who cannot keep steady relationships. They like to have multiple relationships here because then they don't have to be real genuine with any of them. They also do not have to gain uh, real genuine feelings for in either one of them uh, because um, they have so many. It's a, a multitude. They can bounce from one to the next to the next. This is also a person who could be like piss poor morally. No value, no value system. They do not value relationships. They do not value romantic connection. They just don't see the value in it. Maybe outside of having sex and, and a little fun. Outside of those two different things, those two things, they don't really see the value of connection, caring connection. So you could be dealing with somebody who has the mentality of them just being like anything that any and everybody can attract this person. Uh, they can be easily distracted and taken away. Um, and, and that is character. It could even be defined as a character flaw. Um, this would be a woman who is always going to the highest bidder, you know, uh, who has more money, you know, if she's with a guy, but she meets another guy who has more money, more power, more prestige, then she's gone. And this would be a guy who 
could be, you know, hanging out with a girl and it could be, you know, a, a decent connection between the two of them. But if some other woman walks by, comes into his life, who's maybe prettier, has a nicer body, nicer hair, whatever the attraction may be, then he's on that bandwagon. This is somebody who hops and hops. They cannot keep steady work or relationship or they cannot make something steadily work. Hmm. You may have met this person at a real low time in your life, okay, to where, the, yeah, the trauma bonding happened. It also, this card has been coming out a lot of times for people who met during the COVID situation. Uh, so, you know, there were relationships that came out of COVID, but the true test of it was, or are you going to, you know, will the relationship stand after the COVID crisis is over? And for some of us, uh, the relationship didn't because it started from a trauma bonding situation and they had this type of mentality where they just couldn't wait to get out of quarantine because there would be so many people that they can talk to and this is what they like to do now your person could have contracted um an std i don't know it, it just so if this is not what has happened to your person and how would you know right unless you know but um if this has not happened to your person, then think about it like this, to contract something as dire as an STD. Let's, let's go, let's walk it down. Um, then a lot of times when you contract an STD, it's because you are engaging in risky behavior. So this card can be trying to indicate to us that maybe you are, were dealing with a person who engages in risky behavior why would you engage in risky behavior because you don't value back to that word value you do not value yourself firstly and maybe others in different relationships and then also you can't keep steady work you like to keep up so many different people therefore the probability statistic wise you would contract an STD because you could possibly be having sex with multiple people. I just heard somebody having sex for money too. So um, it, it doesn't always have to be that maybe your person is has gotten you know an STD. It could just be that the cards are trying to tell us that they engage in risky behavior with several different people. Um, they're up for the risk, okay? They want you to know that. Um, and in, in this risky behavior, they're going to get what is uh, karmically due to them. And most times when you engage in, sec in risky sexual behavior, you're gonna get a, a unwanted, um, maybe STD, uh, childbirth, uh, all of those different things. Um, you know, maybe you may even fall in love with somebody who you didn't think you would, uh, you know, soul ties. So, that's what the cards want us to know in terms of your person okay as i just split the deck wow um i don't know it could be you aquarius i'm pretty sure the cross watchers are gonna get down there in the comments and let me know um i just split the deck and we got club hopper so maybe your person does something with the nightlife or they're always out this also can come out sometimes when again a person cannot stay still you know they cannot stay put with one person they need several um because their esteem their self-esteem is so low therefore uh what they value is um quantity and not quality so if i have several different people i can call up and talk to have sex with hang out with then i am valuable then i am you know i am great and maybe this is how your person looks at themselves because they have a very flashy mentality your person could be could work you know in a or you aquarius you could work in a club about a club you could own a club um there's somebody who's hopping around okay and this could be even sleeping around um we're gonna pull these two cards out of the deck so we don't get them again and let's see what else do we have here so sorry to get messages like this you know um uh, but do know all things will change um in due time so just keep at it in terms of staying away from this energy doing the healing work all different aquarius are on different
pages, different levels in their healing process. So don't get mad at the, the tarot, the oracle cards when this energy is coming out because some of us are still there and we just need to respect people's, um, their different path and their choice and where they are uh, because you let your person go years ago but still are watching tarot. Um, does it mean that um, the you know other Aquarius have done the same? So just quietly exit out if it doesn't resonate or you don't want it to resonate. Okay. All right. What else do we have to tell the Aquarius? What else do we have to tell the Aquarius? What else do we have to tell the Aquarius? All right. The cards don't want to. All right, so this one wanted to come out. Some of you, I guess we're switching notes. Uh, we're going to switch tune here. Uh, spoiled, rotten children. Some of you have some spoiled, rotten children, or you are a spoiled, rotten child. Um, so, you know, words have meanings. Spoiled, rotten. If something is spoiled, if something is spoiled in your refrigerator, what do you typically do with it? You throw it out. If something is rotten, it has no value, no use, no nutritional value, especially if it is food. And what do you normally do? Throw it out. Do you want your children to be throwaways? It is not fun. And it's not funny to have spoiled, rotten children um, because this is what they will give to the world. This is what they will give in relationship to other people. Spoiled and rottenness. Okay. They will be of no use, no value. People will throw them away. They have nothing to offer, no beneficial. They're not beneficial at all. So make sure that you are instilling the best in your children, whatever that may be. You know, I don't know what it, but make sure that, you know, there is a level of balance there. Okay. All right. Let's see. What else do we want to tell the Aquarius? What else do we want to tell the Aquarius? This wanted to come out. I made you fall in love with me because it was fun. Sorry. Yeah. And we see that with that flashy mentality there. And, um, this, this is not a person who can, um, this is not somebody you want to settle down with. They are not going to settle down in the first place there. It's not within them. It's not within them. They can't do it. Um, maybe this was just a big lesson for you. Aquarius. What else do we want to tell the Aquarius? Okay, these wanted to pop out. Wow. The dynamic has changed. Now someone can't get over you or you can't get over someone, Aquarius. I, you cannot make this stuff up. The cards just come and confirm it. I don't value. Shh. Yeah, they don't value anything, period. They do not value anything. If you think you're the first person that they took advantage of, made you fall in love with them because it was fun, then you're as, I don't know, you're more naive than they even thought. Um, this person doesn't value anything. And, and that was like the key word, you know, earlier in the reading. This person just, their value system is messed up. Um, and that's because they are messed up in terms of their, you know, their psychology and their self-esteem. Um, they could have been a spoiled rotten child or are spoiled rotten child. They just don't have anything that's truly valuable to give. Um, they don't even find themselves valuable. That's why they hide behind maybe a lot of flash and fast living, fast talking. Um, this is not a person who's gonna stop and smell the roses. That would actually make them put them in a place where they would actually have to smell their shit, their own shit. And they don't want to do that. It's, it's better to keep going and, and not process. Lastly, what do we want to tell the Aquarius? Unhappy marriage. If you were dealing with someone who was coupled, they were unhappy. They made you fall in love with them because it was fun. It was something to do. Guys, keep in mind, a lot of times these third party situations, especially when you are the third party to a marriage or to a long term relationship, you are fun. You are excitement. You are you are a breath of fresh air. You you are holding this unhappy marriage together. 
because if you weren't there, they would be unhappy, maybe even miserable. And then they will possibly wake up and say, let's divorce. But since you are there as a third party, this person has an outlet a fun, adventurous, um, sneaky outlet that allows them to rest in unhappiness uh, easy. It allows them to rest in unhappiness easily. Like now I can cope with the fact that I don't like my wife or I don't like my husband because I know on the weekend I'll go and see my girlfriend or my side person, whatever they call you. So keep in mind, a lot of times as a third party, you are doing nothing but holding an unhappy marriage together. And if you do have a third party in your marriage, that third, you should, the third party should be billing you. You should receive an invoice because that party is keeping you, keeping you uh, in this marriage that clearly you don't want to get out of. Um, I mean, I can go on and on about that, but um, yeah, this is what I have for you, Aquarius. I'm sorry the message wasn't better. Should we? Okay, let's see if we can leave the Aquarius with um, maybe a word of advice. I heard that it, it's going to be shifting gears. So whatever these cards are going to say, it's going to be completely different from what's going on here. All right, so what do we want to tell the Aquarius in terms of, excuse me, in terms of advice? Queen of Swords, yeah. Um, Queen of Swords, she's the executive of her life. So if you're an executive, you make decisions, right? For for um, everything that's going on, the lay of the land, everybody. So you need to scour over your life and, and make a decision in terms of what is not bringing you value, what is not valuable to you. Understand that you want newness and understand that you can't take old into new. Um, it's the, it's like saying you want a new house. I want a new house. I want a new house. I want a new house. And then you get the new house and then the movers come on moving day and you're like, yeah, okay. So I would like to, um, I would like you guys to pick this house up off the foundation and somehow put it in my new house. It's just not possible. So you're going to have to really let it go. Let the old house go. Let the old relationship go. Let the madness, the drama go and then go into newness. Yes, it's going to be scary. Yes, you don't know what's wrong with a new house. Yeah, you got an, ex an inspection, but it only takes living in the house to find out, you know, what's really wrong with it. Or maybe nothing is wrong with it. Um, or maybe it's on the other side of town. You've never lived on that side of town or it's on the other side of the world. I've never been on the other side of the world. Whatever it is, Aquarius, make the decision so that you can have newness, so that you can have something better. Okay. It also talks about getting, make sure you get counsel, trusted counsel. Okay. Um, what else do we want to tell the Aquarius? The Empress, wow. Earth Mother is working with you to bring about abundance, um, your wishes, your dreams. Okay. Um, there's a, a high manifestation period for you. Something is going to come into the physical for you. It's time. But the universe wants you to get to a place of acceptance too. Um, stop looking backwards. Do all that you can do uh, in order to move forward. It's funny. these Both of these cards, the Queen of Swords talks about, uh, most times the Queen of Swords, she dresses very well. She's very sharp. She speaks well. And um, she most times she looks like royalty. And then the Empress sits on a throne that she built out of nothing, out of wilderness. Um, and this also can talk about uh, ambiance, um, elegance eloquence and then elegance um it can talk about just um really um uh, coming into your own whatever that may be for you okay um so aquarius it's about creating something new also the yeah, other empress talks about something new something it's like you're about to birth a new you birth a new project birth a new relationship maybe even give birth last card for the aquarius the moon card understand that there's some things still um maybe that you have not uh, process repressed emotions. Maybe you're lying to yourself. Somebody else is lying to themselves. There's an energy of not being honest, hiding behind. Uh, you can hide, you can shield in the darkness and the moon shines in the darkness, right? Um, there's also an energy of maybe you and somebody else were very different and the conflict, the friction came when you tried to come together. We've got the wild, 
uh, feral wolf here and then we have the domesticated dog and it's like how do we reconcile our our differences um also this is making i don't know you or you or the other person made you made each other uncomfortable because you were so different have you ever been around somebody who they they were so different that they made you uncomfortable um, they did something to your spirit, whether they made you uncomfortable in a good way where they kind of excited and ignited your spirit or they kind of put you in a place of, um, you know, unrest. You're uneasy. So I don't know. The cards want you to know that there's also some things working in, in the background. Yeah. They want me to clarify that. Yeah. Wow. Ten of Cups. You're going to get what you want. Fortune after difficulty, Aquarius. Calling a truce in a family. Um, a friend could come to you with a good business idea. Look over the terms, but it could definitely be profitable. The Ten of Cups. Um, practice acts of kindness, Aquarius. Um, whatever you're thinking about, whatever you have going and stirring in your emotions. Um, wow. You can reconcile them. The Three of Cups. Communicate. Communicate how you're thinking and feeling, right? So Aquarius, this looks good. Uh, it looks like you're in a place of abundance. Some of you may be out of all that junk behind us, and that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, you may be in a place of abundance, and you're out of all this junk. And uh, congratulations and uh, many blessings to you. Get your own personal reading by going over to the website and booking there. Um, you can also donate to the channel. If you feel like you took something from the reading, you could give back. You could buy me a coffee. The link is below. It says buy Ella coffee. You could also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 930 PM Eastern standard time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.